Oh boy, we got a very legendary matchup in terms of the two characters today. Oh man, this should be a really good one actually. Should be. I'm expecting it to be close as well, but well, we won't find out till next week. But uh, well, well, welcome back to the channel, buddy. How's it going? What is it? Just Tuesday? It's only Tuesday. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's see if we can put a little bit of a dent into the time uh, if you're trying to waste a little bit by I don't know maybe watching this video i suppose i don't uh, yeah let's do it. whatever uh anyway new matchup today uh we got more results obviously and uh if you're new you're wondering what this is simple it's a character tournament with well 100 characters um and then uh you know it's a double elimination tournament uh you vote for whoever you want between one of the two characters in each matchup for the day and uh ultimately we're gonna go to there's a winner um i think uh, i got some rules to make it just seem a bit more organized because that was a horrible introduction but uh yeah let me put up the rules on screen for you guys and the rules are very simple they're very straightforward rule one this is for fun that ultimately means you could vote for whoever you want if they're in the matchup you could vote for them they're in this tournament for a reason it's basically would you like this character to be in smash bros as a dlc character if so you can vote for him totally fine but do remember you only get one vote per person i do check that when I uh, tally up the votes. How do you vote though? That's another good question. That's also simple. Down in the comment, type the name of the character you are voting for. Simple, but remember, one vote per person. Uh, rest of the rules, double elimination tournament, meaning a character will have to lose two times overall before being eliminated from the tournament. Uh, once we get to the results to determine the winner and loser of each individual match, if there happens to be a tie in the voting, we're going to flip a coin on camera, fairest way to break the tie, and then each matchup voting-wise only gets one week, you know, basically, when the uh, episode gets first uploaded, you have seven days to get your votes in, so you have one week to get your vote in, if it comes in after the fact, well, sorry, your vote just won't count because we've already moved on, so those are the rules, and uh, well, let's move on to the rest of the video. All right, let me go over the results from uh, last week really quickly, which was uh, I thought it was a pretty good matchup. All right, um, and uh, the matchup was Paper Mario from Paper Mario taking on Heavy Weapons Guy from Team Fortress, and uh, uh, it wasn't necessarily close, but uh, maybe a little bit of a blowout. But uh, who ended up winning? Heavy Weapons Guy picked up this W, uh, 62 votes. To just 39 votes for Paper Mario. So, two things here. Heavy Weapons Guy moves on to uh, one step further in the winner's bracket. However, Paper Mario, first loss. So, Paper Mario still in the tournament. Just drops to the loser bracket. So, Heavy, congrats. Moving on. Uh, you'll end up facing Rayman in your next match. Which actually should be a pretty, pretty good match. That should be entertaining as well. Rayman coming off uh, quite a bit of votes as well, right? 78, so... Yeah, that should be uh, that should be a good matchup. Good things coming, but um, there's the results. So we'll move down here. Let's see. Wait, where did uh, I just want to see where uh, Paper Mario dropped to uh, down? Paper Mario's next matchup will be in a few days, and it'll be taken on Sephiroth. But that's in a few days. Let's focus on the matchup today, which iconic legendary status written all over this one. We have one of the most iconic villains in video games. Dr. Eggman from the Sonic series coming off a win against Akira Howard from Astral Chain with uh, 47 votes. And Lara Croft is coming off of a loss to Crystal by one vote. So we'll see if uh, Lara can bounce back or if Eggman can continue to roll on, even though eggs kind of roll in a weird direction. They can't, they don't just roll in one direction. They're just kind of like, wow, whatever. That was, I don't know what the point of that was. So, um, yeah, let me, uh, oh, I don't have it ready. Hold on. All right, there we go. Dr. Eggman is up first. Now, like I said, very iconic for different reasons, these characters, obviously, uh, I think I already mentioned, but very iconic in terms of just villains in gaming. And, uh, that's one thing I always say about any villain. I want to see a villain. I don't, I do have some preferences, but Overall, to the villain category of character in Smash Bros, that is very lacking. Eggman fills that, not just because he's a big dude, but because he's, well, a villain, and I, I want to see at least one villain in the Fighter's Pass. I'd be, a, I'd be a tiny bit upset. Okay, not upset, but if it happens to be Dr. Coil from ARMS, if that happens to be the villain. One, okay, we got a villain. Cool. Two, that's the arms that they would have went with. There's some better ones in my opinion, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But anyway, Eggman, such a iconic character. Everybody knows the name. Uh, the Sonic movie came out. What was that? Uh, 
little over a month ago, did very well. It was number one at the box office. Jim Carrey ended up playing Eggman, and uh, everyone pretty much said, yeah, perfect job. He, he like, displayed the character very well. Uh, he just personified the character. He just personified Eggman so well, and it was, it was really cool to see. I love the movie. Uh, probably going to buy it on Blu-ray whenever it comes out. But uh, good stuff. Uh, but Eggman, I mean, look, Sonic as a franchise, I've said this multiple times, and I will continue to say but Sonic as a franchise deserves a second rep for how well Sega and Nintendo work together, for how long Sega has, uh, or sorry, the Sonic series has only had one rep in Smash Bros, Brawl, Wii U, 3DS, and now Ultimate. How do they... At this point, come on. It, it's a, I've, I've said it to death. They deserve a second rep, all right? Whether it's Eggman, Shadow, Sonic, Knuckles, Amy, Silver, whoever, they deserve a second rep. Eggman would be pretty cool, in my opinion, because we have the hero with Sonic and then the villain with Eggman. Now, that's one thing a couple of people get confused. I'll say I want a villain, and somebody will say, well, Smash Bros. doesn't need to focus on the heroes versus villains aspect. And that's fine. I'm not saying they need to. Like, oh, because Sonic is in, it doesn't mean Eggman automatically. Is. No, 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 no. I just mean a villain entirely. What? It, it's just another villain in general. I don't care. It could be a. It could be Doctor Coil, for example. Again, would be the weird first rep, playable rep for Arms, but it's a villain. I just want a villain because I don't know. Like, think of Bowser, K. Rule, Ridley, Ganondorf, Bowser Jr. What are those, like, just the five actual villains? I mean, sure, you have Piranha Plant, who's an enemy, not really a big bad villain. Uh, Wolf. Uh, did I say Ridley? If I didn't, uh, you guys get, get where I'm going. But Eggman would be very fun. Uh, definitely gets that done. But uh, moveset, uh, I want to talk. His uh, Legend Spear fight, if you haven't fought it, here's how it goes. Basically, you fight Roy... The Bowser, or uh, Bowser Jr. Koopaling Roy, you fight him. And what's uh, so special about Bowser Jr.? The play style, he's in the Koopa Clown Car. And I think if, if he happened to be in, maybe that would be a a tease or a hint of how Sakurai and the team envisions Eggman playing. And what do I mean? By being in the Koopa Clown Car, Eggman would end up being in his Eggmobile and do all sorts of different things. He got the giant hammer, flamethrower, a drill rush, drill spike type of thing. It'd be just a really cool idea, and maybe they could kind of... I know Bowser Jr. is the only one that really plays in, like, a mobile, in, like, a car type of thing, so what could Eggman do to be a little bit different? Maybe Eggman, in a way, could actually get out of the Eggmobile itself and also fight on the ground, you know, boots on the ground sort of thing. Punches, kicks, shoulder tackles, drop kicks, uppercut, you know, something like that. And plus, he's still always got little inventions you could use for, like, neutral specials, for uh, projectiles, maybe a couple explosives, whatever it might be. So he could be, like, a two-play style character in one. Uh, it'd be kind of, like, down special. It'd be, like, how Zelda used to work. Like, it'd be transform. Uh, you know, how Zelda would go into Sheik, but in this case, Eggman would just exit an Eggmobile, and now he starts fighting on the ground. That'd be really cool to see, plus uh, with each character kind of having a, I don't want to say specific, but some sort of mechanic that makes them unique to their own right. That could be Eggman's. It really could fit. So, uh, yeah, I, lo I love Eggman. I do want, I do hope he gets in someday. Might not be my, you know, next character I want to see, but he's on the list. He's on my list for sure. So, uh, let's talk about Eggman's opponent, though. Very iconic in her own right as well for different reasons. She's not a villain, no, but she... Iconic female video game character. You make a list, I always say this, you make a list, she's of iconic uh, female video game characters. Heroes... I don't know, uh, villains, uh, in between whatever grayish areas, anti-heroes, whatever it might be. She's got to be on your top three. Even if you don't like the Tomb Raider shit, I don't. I've, I've never played it. I've seen it a little bit, and I just kind of went, meh, what's next? You know, whatever's next. But, hands down, never get an argument from me. She is iconic. She, in, in, I guess I keep saying that, but by that, by, what I mean by iconic... In, in your own way, you've kind of earned your spot in Smash Bros., which is be quickly very much becoming a video game all-star brawler. You have all the Nintendo characters. Well, not all of them. But you have a lot of Nintendo characters. You now have all sorts of, you know, Sonic, Mega Man, Pac-Man, Cloud, Snake. Uh, just so many iconic third-party characters. They're all coming together, and it's really becoming like the... The Mount Rushmore of who's who of of gaming legends are in this game in some point. Not all of them, but a, a 
a fair few of them, and uh, it's really cool to see, and I think Laura definitely has earned her spot. Some people still kind I don't know why some people still kind it's not like she just recently came back either, but some people still kind of, I've seen one or two here, they're like, yeah, uh, Laura Croft would be great as a PlayStation character. You guys know that uh, Laura Croft has been, uh, had like a trilogy, and it's been on multiple systems, right? It's not just been on PlayStation recently. So uh, I, I always found that a little weird. Wow, that's small. But I always found that a little weird. Like, maybe maybe they just weren't aware of it, but she's not a PlayStation character. She's multi-platform. Square does own her, so that... Is that an issue? Maybe to some people. You know, look, we know how Square can be a little bit stingy when it comes to whatever they want to let uh, other people use. For example, we know how Cloud and Final Fantasy is. We still only have just the two tracks. Uh, Hero. While we did get four different Hero alts, which is really cool, I think it was still on the the the, the shorter side of content that came in. Like, just compared to, like, Persona and, uh, you know, Banjo and, uh, what, Terry Bogard, whatever, what is he, Fatal Fear, King of Fighters, uh, and then, uh, Byleth, even though Byleth's easier because he's first party, but the idea is, uh, what, what would they allow? How many spirit fights do we get with her? How many music tracks would we get? What kind of stage would we get, you know? What would Square be willing to, you know, not give up, but what would they be willing to let Nintendo use, you know, they'll say, all right, you can have him, but you, you can have this character, but you can only have up to, you know, this, this much. This is all we're willing to let happen. So, yeah, Square could be stingy, but I still think Lara, look, there's a fan base out there for sure. But I, I'm going to throw this out there. I, I know some people might not agree, but just from what I see, Lara's not even really like a heavily speculated or heavily requested character from what I see. She... Her name's not always brought out. You know, you always... Rumors and DLC and whatever. You always have your crashes and Ryu Hayabusa's and Doom guys. Where's Lara? She's, like, never in there. She... You have to wait. No disrespect, but you gotta wait for somebody to mention her. And then everyone's like, oh, yeah, 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 that would be great. I would love to see her. So, maybe the fan demand isn't as high for her as it could be. Or maybe as it should be, but... She still has a pretty good case. I didn't touch on the moveset, but if you played Survival or uh, Tomb Raider, you know her type of style. She could have a handgun. I, that's not really an issue anymore in Smash Bros. Uh, she's got a bow and arrow, torches, uh, hunting knives, just uh, you know, physical attacking moves. So it'd be kind of an interesting to see how they could uh, tie in a survival sort of uh, character, act, survival actiony. I don't know if you could put that... You could put that into Smash Bros. into a moveset somehow, but... Yeah, for me... Again, it's just not a character that I look at and go, Yep, I want to see that. If she gets in, I'm not going to complain. Never will. But, yeah, for me, I'm, I'm voting Dr. Eggman all day. The villain aspect, that's a big thing. But, uh, I, yeah, just between the two, I would rather have Eggman over Lara Croft. So, Eggman's got my vote. Let me know who you guys got down in the comments. Eggman, Lara Croft, or both. All good options. That is it for this one. Uh, so sneak peek for tomorrow's matchup. The matchup tomorrow we have ooh, Phoenix Wright, who's coming off of a loss, but uh, we'll see how he bounces back. But it's going to be a tough one because he's taking on the Super Soldier, the Master Chief from Halo. Do people actually call him the Master Chief? That'd be weird. Uh, I don't know. But uh, Phoenix Wright against Master Chief. That's tomorrow. And then uh, what do we have for results? Uh, back up here in the winner's bracket. Tomorrow's results are going to be Gino was taking on Spyro, so we'll see who won that epic clash. But that's tomorrow, today's today, today's wrapping up. Have a second video. Stay tuned if you're bored. It's going to pop up around 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So there you go. That's the second video. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.